a fiddler on the roof. Sounds crazy, no? But here, in our little village of Anatevka, you might say every one of us is a fiddler on the roof, trying to scratch out a pleasant, simple tune without breaking his neck. It isn't easy. You may ask, why do we stay up there if it's so dangerous? Well, we stay because Anatevka is our home. And how do we keep our balance? That I can tell you in one word. Tradition! of our traditions. We've kept our balance for many, many years. Here in Anatevka, we have traditions for everything. How to sleep, how to eat, how to work, how to wear clothes. For instance, we always keep our heads covered and always wear a little prayer shawl. This shows our constant devotion to God. You may ask, how did this tradition get started? I'll tell you. I don't know. But it's a tradition. And because of our tradition, Every one of us knows who he is and what God expects him to do. <laughs> Day and night must scramble for a living, feed a wife and children, send his daily press, and who has a right as master of the house to have the final word at home? special types. For instance, uh, Yente the matchmaker, Reb Nachum the beggar, <laughs> and most important of all, our beloved rabbi. Rabbi, may I ask you a question? Certainly, Labish. Is there a proper blessing for the Tsar? A blessing for the Tsar? Of course. May God bless and 
keep the Tsar far away from us. <laughs> in our village. They make a much bigger circle. We don't bother them, and so far, they don't bother us. And among ourselves, we always get along perfectly well. Of course, there was the time when he sold him a horse and told him it was only six years old, when it was really twelve. But now, it's all over, and we all live in simple peace and harmony. It was really twelve years old. It was six. Traditions, traditions. Without our traditions, our lives would be as shaky as, as, as a fiddler on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> 